<coughs> this was asked in UPSC 2011 okay UPSC 2011 okay so the question is we have to find the Norton's equivalent circuit okay the Norton's equivalent circuit okay so we have to find the Norton's equivalent circuit from the above circuit means we have to find the value of ish and the value of rn okay so to find ish we have to first sort two terminals okay so let's redrawing the picture that is v1 and the current through this is the current through r1 is i okay this is r2 and the dependent current source is there that is alpha into i okay ish okay so we have to find the value of ish okay since it is short circuited since this terminal is short circuited so the whole current will pass through this branch not passing through this branch because it is in zero impedance okay so ish will be equals to minus of alpha i okay now what is the value of i that is defined in this term this uh, loop okay so the value of i will be v1 by r1 apply kvl in this loop so v1 is equals to i into r1 so v1 i is equals to v1 by r1 so ish will be minus alpha v1 by r1 okay so we have performed a so we have uh, finding we are we are finding ish and we are successful in doing that now we have to find the value of rn okay now to find the value of rn we have to first determine the value of voc then we have performed the voc by ish and we will get rn okay so opening this terminal suppose this is voc okay so voc will be voc will be whatever the voltage across this current source as well as whatever the voltage across this resistance okay since this is open circuited this alpha i current will flow through this r2 okay so voc will be alpha i into r2 okay since it is opposite in direction there will be a negative sign okay now what is i i is basically minus alpha i is predefinedly that is v1 by r1 into r2 okay so we have find we find that voc is equals to minus v1 r2 by r1 so what is the value of rn that is voc upon ish okay so that will be minus alpha v1 r2 divided by minus alpha v1 so that will be r2 so ish will be minus alpha v1 by r1 and rn will be r2 so this is the final result 